Oh hey, welcome to the tiny cabin, you wanna come in? I'm Xenia. And I'm Eric. Welcome to our home. It's about 450 square feet. It's a tiny house mansion. We moved here about a year and a half ago. To say that this place was basic when we moved in is the understatement of a lifetime. This room that we're in right now was the cabin. We were living in Brooklyn, New York. Eric was watching way too much YouTube about tiny living. It all started off as you calling me up and being like, when's our lease up? And she's like, let's not renew. Okay. We started looking at properties. There had to be something about the land, the area that was really special. And that's what it ended up being. It's about 12 acres. It's really beautiful. And we lived here just the way it is to really figure out what we need before we invest into renovation and to changing things up. So this is our patio that we added and a brand new mudroom that we also just added. Eric used Centennial Woods subway tile made from reclaimed wood. As you walk into the living room, you'll see completely renovated room. We put in shiplap. We painted it, we put in a brand new floor, we put a brand new door in. Especially when you're living in a small space, it's so important to create those pockets that remind you what grounds you and what nourishes you. This meditation corner holds my plants and my altar. I love making my cacao and drinking it in that corner. Our renovation started with just deciding to transform the back room into our bedroom. As you keep walking, you'll see a barn door that Eric installed with a bedroom that is very minimal, made with knotty pine. As we walk into the kitchen, the cabinets and the countertop was pretty nice already. A bigger pantry for a tiny house is definitely very helpful. What you see on the right, the laundry room slash eat-in kitchen made with the butcher block table that Eric built used to be our toilet. The toilet slash plastic shower were really, really tiny. We transformed this space to be the extension of the kitchen. We added a washing machine, the dryer's on the way. This is a crystal art that Eric actually made. We added a skylight into the laundry room. The light that it brings in transforms the whole house. As we open the barn door into the bathroom, my favorite room in the house, we tiled it ourselves. If I knew what we were getting into, I would have outsourced it. I've always wanted a standalone bathtub. As we move back, you'll see the shower. Everything is oil rubbed bronze. I was hoping you'd say that because I'm obsessed with oil rubbed bronze. Anything that's made of metal, oil rubbed bronze. Favorite DIY in the house? The crystal shower that Eric made. Eric is an artist. He created a crystal grid on epoxy right under a rain shower, which is under a skylight. One of our biggest challenges was when we had no bathroom. We were showering outside for like six weeks. The inspiration was going with the feeling of brightness because this still is a small space. Eric met someone who was about to get rid of an old house and came back with all these objects. And one such thing is this lamp. It's one of my favorite pieces in the entire house. The other thing that was really big for us, inspiration-wise, the beauty of something old. And if you look at our siding from a Centennial Woods. It's a reclaimed Wyoming snow fence. It is so weathered in. The personality that it gives is massive. I think that's one of the most important things about creating a home is to make it a reflection of things that make you happy, not someone else on Pinterest or Instagram, but things that truly connect you to you. Being at home in your space, just like being at home in your body, it's not a destination, it's a journey that we are invited to take every single day. I've become so much more of the person that I've wanted to be since we've moved in. If you're considering moving from city to country, do it. It's the best decision we've ever made as adults. And it's the best thing for us together of what we built. Don't wait. Why would you wait? How does that make any sense? It really brings a lot of meaning and connection that sometimes gets lost on us when we live in the city and are just running from place to place. There's so many animals we're sharing this land with from deer to owls and coyotes. We have caves in the back of the property. We're always finding new tracks and while we don't have any animals because Eric is allergic to all of them there is one animal who is our neighbor that he has formed a bond like I've not seen before my favorite purple rain the alpaca there's always the next step workshop um, guest cabin so you can come and stay with us we can feed you feed you make your cacao we'll have a fire I'm just like looking for another countertop to make right now I'm just like countertop. you know what need a countertop <laughs> 